really proud of the tradition of Miss Cherokee as a leadership pageant and as an ambassador program for Cherokee Nation. Cherokee Heritage Center Director Candessa Teehe welcomed attendees to the recent opening of the new Miss Cherokee exhibit. For the past 60 years, a young lady has been chosen each year to hold this title. Once selected, she acts as a goodwill ambassador for the year, sharing Cherokee culture and history with the public. This exhibit shares that rich history with many unique items, and it allows the public to see how the position has evolved over the years. My mom made this dress for me, and she tore all the pieces except just a few of the pieces she had to cut, but the rest of it she actually tore to make it, so that's special to me. There are more than 40 dresses, including the original Miss Cherokee tear dress created in 1969 for Virginia Stroud. Her sister, Elizabeth Higgins, made that dress. This would be a style that the women would have been, been wearing in the 1800s. So we created it then as a wearable memorial to the women in the removal. Been uh, all over the world, and people acknowledge that I was Miss Cherokee, you know, and uh, that's pretty neat uh, to be one of so very few. Also on display are feather capes, moccasins, crowns and personal gifts collected by the former Miss Cherokees. Many of the former Miss Cherokees came to celebrate the opening, and some visited and caught up with each other. I think they're beautiful. I think it's wonderful. I'm very happy to see they're doing something to recognize the Miss Cherokees. I think it's a very big honor. I just think that the way that everything's displayed is, is beautiful, and I just think it's very informative, and it really kind of gives everybody an eye-opener to, you know, the history and, and the Miss Cherokees. Oh, it's beautiful. I have never seen anything so wonderful in my life. It brings back so many good memories. The first allusion to royalty came during the Cherokee holiday in 1955, when Phyllis Osage, a student at Sequoia Vocational School, was named Queen of the Cornstalk Shoot. She awarded trophies to the winners of that competition. In 1957, the title was changed to Miss Cherokee Holiday, and Linda Burroughs was the first to hold that title. The first Miss Cherokee, Ramona Collier of Tahlequah, was crowned in 1962. This was the first mention of a title winner's role extending beyond the holiday festivities. She was expected to appear at several tribal community and state functions. It's so pretty, isn't it? It is. It's pretty. Since then, the official title has remained Miss Cherokee. Sixty different young ladies have held the title, with one person, Mary Kay Harshaw Henderson, holding the title for two consecutive terms from 1980 through 1982. Today, the role of Miss Cherokee continues to be representing the Cherokee Nation as a goodwill ambassador, serving as a messenger to promote the government, the history, language, and culture of the Cherokee people. As such, she is a role model and is expected to exemplify the best qualities of Cherokee youth. There hasn't been an event like this to um, commemorate what the Miss Cherokee competition means and Cherokees have a tradition of honoring our women so this is a great way for us to do that in a modern setting. The Miss Cherokee exhibit runs through August the 23rd. The Cherokee Heritage Center is located at 21192 South Keeler Drive in Park Hill. For information on 2015 season events, operating hours, and programs, please contact the Cherokee Heritage Center at 888 999-6007 or visit CherokeeHeritage.org.